Hey guys, today I'm going to run through a series of movements that I love doing. I find that this one uh, has epic, epic results in if you're looking to build a bit of strength and mobility for popping up and getting to your feet and being a little bit more comfortable getting to your feet, especially when the waves are a bit bigger and a little bit more um, intense situations just help you be a bit more confident to get into your feet, get into the right, getting in the right part of your board, getting into a position where you can drive straight away and enjoy the wave. So this one has a couple of different levels. Um, so I'm gonna demonstrate a beginner level, then intermediate, then a more advanced level. So the beginner level sort of looks like this. We're gonna start from a push-up position. So here my wrists are underneath my shoulders, Toes are activated in the mat. I'm gonna step out with my right foot and place it close to my right hand. From here, I'm gonna bring through my left foot and kick, like so. So if I'm sitting on the mat, my right foot is quite close to my hip. My left hand is underneath my left shoulder. And I can come to this position quite easily. If they're a little further out, it's really challenging. And it's also not really a uh, mechanically sound position to be in. So think of a, a uh, if you're building a tower, you want everything nice and level. Otherwise, if you've got your stability out here like so, it's not that sound. So I want it underneath me. From here, I'm in a really strong position. Then to get back to my push-up position, lift up, send my left leg back, replace my hand, and step back with my foot. Okay, so again, step, kick, come back. From here, I want to make sure I'm exhaling as I kick my leg through. So from here, I'm going to inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You also might notice that I'm pivoting my wrist a little bit, like so, as I send my leg through. I do that just because I feel it's more comfortable um, in this position here. In this position here, it doesn't feel as comfortable, and I like to turn it so my fingers are pointing in the opposite direction that my leg is pointing. So from here, step back. All right, so that's level one. Also, we wanna make sure that we do both sides. So from here, I'll step, kick, step back. So we're gonna go from side to side. It's good to go from side to side. So step, kick, back, step, kick, back, like so. So that's level one. And you wanna do that, you wanna do five reps on each side, so 10 in total. Try and do three sets. That's a great beginner entry level into doing this. And you want to make sure that you're doing it with really consciously putting a lot of integrity into the moves. Breath is key as well. Make sure you got that nice exhalation as you're kicking your leg through. Same sort of thing when you're popping to your feet. You want to make sure that you're exploding into your pop-up with an exhalation. So level two position will be more of a jump. So from here I'm going to jump, step, kick. Come back. Jump, step, kick. Come back. That is level two. So from here I'm just really springing up and landing. It's the same movement except I'm, I've got just a little bit of a pop, a little bit of kick in my step. Um, and that's a really good segue to this one here. Okay, so it's a good stepping stone to go from that one to this one, which is you're gonna use, um, come from a stationary position on your chest, and you're gonna push up and pop at the same time. So, alternating sides. Alternating sides. Like so. There are other versions you can do of this as well. 
You can start in this position and you can walk. So you can take a couple of steps. One, two. One, two. So I'm going frontwards. So there's a number of different series you can pick from there. Again, I've only done a few and I'm really starting to get a sweat on. It is a very dynamic movement. It is a one that you have to be conscious of because there's a lot of moving parts and but it's very enjoyable to do and it also is extremely helpful for the pop-up. So when I pop up, I'm generally always trying to get my front foot underneath my chest like so. Or it's a similar I'm always trying to get that front leg to come up and under creating that mobility and that strength that you need to get to your feet quickly. So hopefully that one helps guys, enjoy.